Okay, so these lessons has uh, taught me so many things. I took Coursera lessons. Now I will make a new video about something that uh, was discussed about empathy. The other class, the other video I have made, uh, 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 a video about empathy, control your empathy, and uh, have the right judgment and do not let too much empathy uh, block your, your, your fairness. And then there was one friend made uh, a very clear explanation about empathy, sympathy and uh, fairness. I think it's a, it's a very, very, very empathy, sympathy and compassion. And empathy is that you can feel others' pain and uh, make an action that to reduce that pain. And the sympathy is just to feel others' pain. And I was thinking, sympathy, synonym, syn synchronize, it's all about sin. Sin must be uh, a same or... or or coherent or that feeling. It's just a, a small source from uh, diverse from this uh, this world. I find it interesting and fascinating. Okay, so empathy. Let's just come back to empathy. Our world is empathy is one of our our unique moral quality of our human being. Well, actually, it, uh, the, the animals also have, yes. There were um, research showing that chimpanzees or, or animals, they have their empathy also. Anyway, what we are trying to say is is within what I know, the knowledge within what I know. And I will continue with that story. That story about the pom pom bowl, right? There was one day we finished the class and uh, we finished the class and students, one student very, very sincerely asking for a pom pom bowl. She was holding it and uh, she came to me, teacher, can I have it? And uh, it was just melts my heart, not because of, of her appearance, but because of uh, that sincerity. Do you have once, do you have such feeling that you are holding something that is so dear to you? It is the whole world to you. It may not be expensive, it may not be very, very, uh, unique or special but it is just so special and unique to you at that moment i can totally feel it so i said you take it and then uh, and then there were other girls saw it and every day everybody wants to get one and it was class finishing time if it is in the middle of the class or if it is at the beginning of the class uh, Anyone ask one pom pom bowl? Of course you can. Do, 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 do. I I have it. I can, I can accommodate it and give them. But uh, at the end of the class, it's already chaos. Nobody taking care of cleaning up, and all rush into that pom pom bowl. And there were also one or two students get uh, get two or three pom pom bowls. Another thing which I want to say. Every time, in, I think it's part of our human nature, there must be rules, there must be restrictions. If there is no restriction, things will go out of hand. There are students get two or three pom pom bowls because they like it. And it's very true if we go see something and, uh, and there is no limit, we will get more also. So make sure one of the lessons to learn is to, to make sure you make very precise and clear instruction. 
and that one I actually did not tell anybody else to get this pom pom bowl and it's just this student got this pom pom bowl and other kids saw it gosh she got it and I need to get it also and then everyone wants to get it and uh, and then at the end I said okay you get one clean up and then you can get one and uh, <clears throat> finally they clean up the classroom and uh, you, you, you need to walk out a little bit right uh, and uh, there was they, they walk out of the classroom and I saw one little hand has two balls I said no one ball and I took the extra ball and she she had two or three I think two or three and it was such a hard decision between these three balls red pink and blue and uh, I said okay any mini mini more she think mini mini finally got one I, I took the other and uh, to my surprise actually this was just that blue ball was in my pocket because I was running into the classroom run between this class and that class I didn't put it into other place back into the the pom pom ball uh, uh, basket and there was one extra in my pocket so that was the story it was not a, a, a success story but the next day it becomes a success story because I posted this video and I got uh, friends suggesting me this time may not work out but once you f you 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 give clear you you make sure you are fair and uh, you are compassionate and you are you have empathy and students will remember it for life and uh, the next day we had class and uh, at the end of the class we start to clean up and uh, some faster some slower and uh, some still stuck into doing something it's just a so natural part of it and uh, always there are some students that's better uh, does more job taking care of others so there was one little boy one student he was uh, uh, cleaning up and uh, usually he did not cleaning clean up that uh, that much but that day he was just uh, in that mood and also praising really helps I said Oh, da da da! You are doing so good. Look at, I see da 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 is doing this. I see da 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 is cleaning up. I see da 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 is uh, picking up the pencil, and he was so proud of himself. And that day, he was the star. And when we walk out, I put my hand in my pocket. I found that uh, blue pom pom ball. Ha <laughs> ha! The moment. So I took out this pom pom bow and raised in the sky until da 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 today did such a wonderful job. He was quiet in class, focused in class, and worked with other very well, and uh, and just a wonderful day. And even at the end, helped other to clean up everything. He deserved this very special pom pom ball and that moment it really it's it's just so good so good <laughs> that pom pom ball it's a winner 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 chicken dinner <laughs> that was a winner I am so happy make sure you have the right expectation, you have compassion, you have fairness, and, uh, and uh, make sure you build up the guideline so that nobody abuse your kindness. What we say we need to control our empathy is because 
there is always chance that empathy, that your kindness is understood the wrong way or understood the right way but utilized the wrong way. And um, they may not There is a chance that this kindness is being exploited and being abused. Oh. You need to make sure that uh, you need to set up rules that kindness is to be appreciated with gratitude, with respect, and uh, with mindfulness. You should set up rules, set up boundaries, and set up limitations so that it is not being abused. Such beautiful animals. They are so beautiful animals. If we respect each other, this world is a better place. Fruits, pear, and fresh air. If we control ourselves, limit our expansion, limit the growth of population, limit the growth of, uh, of development, of housing, of uh, new territory. We will have more things left in this world for This world, how many people in this world? There must be a critical mass. There is a critical mass. What we can do and what we cannot do.
there is a balance in this world. Oh, I feel so much better now. And I always wanted to tell you this story this whole week. And uh, because I listen to them and uh, listen to the course and listen how to listen to learn to how to talk how to present myself it helps me a lot and another thing is that if you do not live a life with your passion if you do not have chance to enjoy yourself the life is not worth living so every week i make sure i go out one or two times to the city, to San Francisco, to Oakland, to see new things, different things, and get inspiration and just to, just to have fun with my life. Not always, uh, not every day living inside the same place to see new things, to see different things. I go to Stanford, the, the, the university, I go to libraries, museums, the streets, the shops, and uh, enjoy your life, enjoy your life, enjoy.